Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Cosmic Conscious Earth Angelics of the United Tribes of the New Earth. Our multidimensional intergalactic DNA is coming online. Today as we journey further down the rainbow column of the central channel of the Zolkin, we are coming more into balance and coherent resonance with the great central sun, Hunabku. The closer we get to the still center of zero point, the more peace and harmony both internally and externally. We are allowing ourselves to feel the deepest depths of our beingness as we are guided by our highest self all the way home to the kingdom of heaven within. In this exodus out of the confines of the false matrix, into the promised lands of the divine matrix of 5D and beyond, as we continue releasing all that no longer serves Gaia or humanity, we navigate our way back to the center of the hoop and bring all our people with us. We connect with our infinite self to complete our journey to our final destination of heaven on earth. This is where our real life begins, as one being connected to all things while maintaining our individual consciousness. We are becoming limitless in our sacred potential and creative possibilities, no holding us back in our glorious light and love of the Creator within every living heart. On this final day of 2021, we are crossing over the threshold into the synchronicity of 222. We begin to fully embody our higher angelic light bodies of multidimensionality. As we become fully lucid within the dream, we merge our higher self with our current presence to become the light bridgers of the new Lemuria. To usher in the new earth, in 2022, half of the sun erupted at once as an M-class and a C-class solar flare simultaneously unleashed from Solaris today. We now take the quantum leap of faith into the unknowable state of eternal bliss consciousness. Shine on, illustrious diamonds of infinite life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many very powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end. If you could do us a favor, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And I'd like to share with you real quick before we continue these transmissions. Early this morning, I had a very powerful lucid dream with our sacred friend, Walela, the hummingbird. If you've been following this channel over the last couple of weeks, you may have seen some of the pictures I've taken of the queen and I's sacred friend, the hummingbird with the bright pink magenta throat. She came to me in a very powerful lucid dream this morning. And in this dream, not only did she have her vibrant, beautiful pink throat, these are Anna's hummingbirds, she also displayed beautiful rainbow-colored wings. This was symbolic of the rainbow body activation. And as she rose above, connecting me to our star nations, our star families, you can now connect with our winged nation with the rainbow wings. Also, I'm sure you heard... The actress, very funny woman, Betty White, ascended today on the 31st of December. She brought much joy and laughter to the world. She was 99 years old. For those that follow this channel, the 99 symbolism in the Mongolian shamanism, 99 sky beings connect shaman to source. Most powerful, the thunder beings. And I heard this news at 1.17 p.m., and Betty White's birthday, January 17th, just one of the many synchronicities of today. May Betty rest in peace and fly free into the light. And now with these powerful energies flowing in, as we step over the threshold into this most powerful year of 2022, we had many activations all over Pachamama. 
with 116 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. The most powerful, again on the ring of fire today, Indonesia with a 5-0. Earlier today, just before the 5-0, Indonesia had a 4.6. The 5-0 most powerful was at 5.53 UTC. 5-0-5-0 coming in, 106 kilometers depth. New Zealand, the Bay of Plenty, this is the portal of abundance. We had a 4.6 activation, 57 kilometer depth. Kamchatka, Russia, 4.2. Afghanistan and the holy portal, where the three holy mountains come together. The Tian Shan, celestial mountain in the north, the crown. Kun Lun in the middle, divine feminine, heart center, middle Dan Tian, the sine wave of zero point. Lower Dantian, Himalayan in the south, they merged together these three holy mountains in the sacred portal. We had a 4.6, and get this, 222 kilometer depth, 222 portal as we're being activated on every level, every dimension, every realm, in this great merging of the emergence. Aguanga, California, 3.0, Argentina, 4.7 activation. 233 kilometer depth. Eastern Fiji, 4.2, 554 kilometer depth. San Luis, Argentina, 4.3. Yukon, Canada, Crown of Lemuria, 3.7, 37 into 73. Heaven on Earth, Southern Yukon Territory, Canada, 3.3, 33 Divine Mastery. Peru, South America, Andes Mountains, Kundalini Pachamama, home of sacred condor, 4.5, council of nine coming in, 157 kilometer depth. Chile, South America, 4.4, divine 44. Tonga, 4.9, 13, divine goddess. Redlands, California, 3.5. Ferndale, California, 3.8. Tajikistan, part of the sacred portal where the three holy mountains come together just north of Afghanistan, 4.2. Peloponnese, Greece, 4.3. East Timor, again today, powerful activation with 4.2. Ferndale, California, another 3.3. Tajikistan, a 4.2, double the power, 108 kilometer depth. Kamchatka, again, Russia, 4.6. The whole ring of fire totally lit up and activated. The dragon lines are fully online, fully flowing freely with the holy chi, the heavenly chi, the holy spirit with us now. We transmit the love of the holy spirit, holy father, holy mother, holy water, holy fire, holy, holy, holy. 737 activation, merging heaven and earth through the great white mirror that reflects its true nature perfectly and endlessly for all eternity. 808 activation, Lion's Gate, with the void in the center, the sacred space, the Lyra nation coming in now, connecting you to your higher self, to your starship, your Merkaba field, and the full activation of your sacred avatar. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 17 degrees, 53 minutes Sagittarius. The sun is at 10 degrees, 42 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 11 degree Capricorn. Pheasants display their brilliant colors on a private estate. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 18 degrees Sagittarius. Tiny children in sunbonnets from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the Oracle deck, Beyond Lemoria, from Izzy Ivy. My sacred condor would like to wish you all a most beautiful, blessed 2022, happy new year upon this new earth. And thank you all for supporting us in our work and mission together of the sacred Heros Gamos, the eagle fly with the condor, the card she picked for you today, another very auspicious card and very synchronistic. Card 55, 5-5 five, five, portal, fifth dimensional energy coming in. The card is unique gifts, your superpowers, a sense of purpose, 
the meaning behind your quirks, exploring your interests, shortcomings as unique undiscovered skills, also what we call CDs, your spiritual gifts. I passionately believe that we all have gifts to bring to the world. If we all did what we truly excelled in and enjoyed, our talents and abilities would enable our communities and our planet to thrive. What would the world be like if each person contributed from a place of overflowing enjoyment without obligation? Where would we be if the jigsaw pieces came together for a diverse and complementary reality, free from prejudice or competition? Some of us have already discovered or remembered what we feel we are here to do. Others are still seeking or just starting to consider this idea. Your inspiration may come as a message in a vision or dream. It may be something others have recognized in you for a long time. It may come from a deep resonance with something you are yet to try. You may be concerned it will affect or transform your current lifestyle, your gift or purpose, maybe something you enjoyed immensely as a child but did not bring into your adult life. Perhaps there is an array of shoulds holding you from what you love doing. When there is enjoyment in what you do, you can give more to it, way beyond your usual capacity. It lights you up when you think or talk about it, and you need less in your life as you are fulfilled through doing it. When you don't do it, you might feel ungrounded or low in energy. If you haven't connected with your purpose, look at your quirks and what they are telling you. You may struggle with some things because your mind works differently in these areas. Things you may have considered shortcomings might be the qualities that enable your gifts. I struggled with dyslexia, and my synesthesia is so strong that there was always a process of translation when I went outside, learned, or socialized communication. I had to decipher concepts and thoughts from luminescent abstract images that amplified the more energy there was behind them. It was quite frustrating, as I felt it made me seem unintelligent. The words I could muster felt inferior to the information I was experiencing. The time it took to translate meant much was lost, so I would often give up mid-sentence. However, this non-linear way of navigating reality was perfect for energy healing and traversing realms. When I discovered painting, these skills were even more helpful. I then realized I could explain everything in a visual way that included the flow and color of a feeling and somehow people all over the world seem to understand. And now today from our Divine Angels at Isis Channelings, Consciousness of 22, Sirius, Lyra, Pleiades, Starseeds, plus Energy of 6, Flower of Life. The Consciousness of 22 has been showing up repeatedly in most of my channeling sessions with lightworkers in the run-up to the new year, all the twos, 2022, and three gateways have shown up significantly, Sirius, Lyra, and Pleiades. Sirius, gateway of the blue ray, reaches its highest point in the sky right at midnight on December 31st to the 1st of January, when time gets a reset and we let go of the old and welcome in the new year. The Lyran portal has also showed up as significant too in the last few channeling sessions for this year. For Lyran are the original founders, cedars of all new civilizations, and while their star seeds may have been Pleiadian, Andromedan, Sirius, etc. traits as well, these white feline DNA holders carry in their energy fields the sacred geometry symbols which hold the blueprint of the new age civilization. They are also master weavers of the time-space continuum, which further assists them in developing the blueprint, seed of light, for the new age civilization. The sun aligns with the Lyra constellation from January 1st through the 20th each year. Pleiadian starseeds have often shown up in my sessions as the wisdom keepers and guardians of the four winds and the four-petaled rose who, through their physical vessels, many of them also share the Knight Templar's timelines. Transmute the old, blow the winds of change, and bring in the new seeds of light. Consciousness of 22 is the connecting link between them all. Consciousness of 22 is the ruling frequency of admission of Earth into the Council of 22 Star Nations, which are guiding our ascension process. The four-petaled rose, double infinity symbol, is the seed and flower that holds the sum total of the entire ascension process 
we are to undergo and is housed in a venusian crystal temple under the guardianship of the priestesses of the rose of mary magdalene and the lemurian priestesses venus acts as the divine feminine arm for the pleiadian gateway ancient mother womb frequency who births all the four petals stand for the four pillars foundation winds directions that is ancient wisdom that seeded all ancient civilizations the mother code the shakti sophia shakina this four petaled rose is the feminine divine essence of cosmic wisdom and hence holds within it its masculine counterpart of divine wisdom the blue rose of twenty-two petals consciousness of twenty-two it is from the original blue rose that all other rose paths red pink white etc arise for they represent our soul path of service and purpose to attain ascension enlightenment to be released from the infinity loop of death and rebirth the blue rose of twenty-two is a further associated with the great white brotherhood ancient wisdom keepers and guardians of the cosmic akashic records which has its headquarters on sirius while the lyrans pleiadians venusians carry the four petaled rose symbol of new creation and initiation in their energy fields its masculine counterpart the blue rose wisdom converts the foundational wisdom into reality that is building blocks of creation manifestation can be accessed via the cosmic akashic records via sacred geometry again domain of the white brotherhood and the knight templars in a nutshell the consciousness of twenty two is a frequency of living resurrection it necessitates death before rebirth and is essentially an emperor and empress king and queen union frequency that is the lyran dna lyra pleiades andromeda sirius of the cosmic divine feminine wisdom of the new creation seed of light brings in the blueprint and the lion dna of sirius and andromeda that executes the manifestation of this etheric blueprint into reality the seed of light was shown to me as the six petaled seed of life at the core of the flower of life energy of six twenty twenty two adds up to six as the past many years have been a constant exercise in reaching this inner union of emperor and empress lion and feline dna and thus now at the turn of twenty twenty two we stand ready at the point of highest inner union empress and emperor to bring forth the seed of light into fruition do remember to call in the blessings of sirius and lyra and also the pleiades and venus sanat kumara lord of venus and the white brotherhood has appeared repeatedly in the past few sessions as the clock strikes the magical midnight hour for this is where we begin to manifest at our highest potential and service this manifestation of the potential seed of light is to occur from the high heart bridge to the divine aspect of thirteen and the heart that is grace can expect heart and high heart activations and light and grace and joy be the change you want to see sake na from isis channelings dot wordpress dot com and from divine sister of the light ra james tonight at midnight we celebrate sirius reaching its highest point in the sky sirius will be directly above us showering us in its light we will be directly downstream from these energies we can expect special downloads this is the time to be working with the energies or to be doing energy work these energies will take us through the one one portal the one one portal will be huge for anchoring these codes into the collective and into the physical expect some major light body activations the one one portal is powerful the number eleven is meant to represent two pillars there are two lovers coming together it's a sign for twin flames these energies may be activating a desire for love or for union this is part of the remembering that is occurring we have a healing that must occur there is a cycle of karma from the past that is clearing these energies are helping us to clear the old so that we may step into the new. This is an amazing time to work on healing or activating your DNA. We can work with these energies to activate our galactic DNA. These are also powerful energies for doing initiation work. The light of Sirius is awakening the teachers of the past now. 
These energies are reminding us that we came from the stars. Many of you are connecting with the galactics. These are the energies of heaven hitting earth. This is the time to manifest. The best thing we can do is to focus on and to visualize the new earth. Expect major blessings to come through right now. You should be starting 2022 with more clarity as you're receiving new templates for your soul. 2022 will help in awakening higher levels of understanding. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And from Divine Sister of the Light Linda Good McGillis. The Return. May today be the Cupid arrow that pushes you beyond death. May the illusion of loss be forevermore laid to rest, as death of what was and birth of what verily is reveals itself unto thee, is pronounced and announced. May the breath of life be brought forth in and of and through each heart. The broadband ascended worlds are now fully disengaged from good and evil and anchored verily into the new sun grid of good and honor unless each individual chooses otherwise. 2022 brings the second coming, the return of the genuine Christos. Not each individual varying truth of what beliefs of their version of what Christ or Christ the light means. For those who pierce the veils of definition, your individuality is surrendered to uniqueness, an embodied application of responsibility as guardians of the kingdom, that which is known as Gaia. Gaia means life. Not a deity trapped by gods and goddesses who thrived in obsessive battle games of power. 2022 brings life to those who choose heart-based living. The heart lives by sensory versus imagery sight. These next six days, each will fully anchor in the frequency of light or non-light within their heart to be their unique ascended timeline reality. Each will be and experience truly their own reality, universal world, interacting and flowing within and through interlinking of others. To be born anew meant be willing to release the old version of oneself. Have you verily emptied your vessel? Watch the unfolding and each will know. Have you aligned what you think, what you say and what you do, or are they still separated through non-observance of the mortal you were when the planet ascended? This is being congruent with your mind, body and spirit. You each were and are in control. That was your awakening. To choose the inner standing, you are the matrix. You each corrupted the matrix consciousness and you each were responsible for changing your universal corrupted and infiltrated consciousness. All to be done through your free will as it was your free will of actions and behaviors that destroyed the purity of your hearts. Many began, few rose above and verily changed. May 2022 bring each into the knowing, this moment, this experience. What is in your present now is the only world that exists. All star nations, star races, dimensions, frequencies have always been present here. It required the eye of the heart to see through your individual delusions of the worlds and choose to be in the timeless now. From my heart to yours, may you each be elevated and may all verily embody good and honor. For those who do not, may you each discover the beauty in life as you finish out your contracts. Welcome to the new sun world, one built upon an underglow of light that emanates the love of the cosmic heart. Happy new now, embracing all with the glory of which we are. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel, In the next 48 hours we are going through an immensely powerful transitional state which will be unlike anything we ever experienced before. It will seem like you are stepping out of your body and viewing yourself from afar. What you are viewing is the old Adam, the old Eve, and leaving this encasement of form behind forever. Strange things will occur. It is a mass awakening into a new form and new beginnings in ways I cannot find words for. It is a splitting of the old for many, while others will shrink from this in fear, will simply choose to remain in the old Adam and Eve and the old earth, even as all disintegrates. Those who choose the new embodiment will feel intense love, a lifting in love, divine omnipotence, such as never experienced before, a lifting into a much higher state of consciousness, which the souls now can access, and indeed will lift them into the new golden age. The Age of Love, from JudithKusel.com, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Camila Hackerstrom. 
beloved ones, we did it. We anchored the new awakened light of the north, and the new earth is now fully here. As we journeyed through the great gateway of completion, and into the gateway of freedom, and the grand shift in our collective consciousness, the earth moved. The divine team, one voice of the north, and many light workers around the planet assisted our beloved Gaia Sophia in moving her into her right node and new position. Gaia Sophia, Terra Nova, has moved into her new orbit, the new earth, and is stable and anchored. Through our work we have raised consciousness to a higher level. The voice of the North Gathering was divinely designed and held during the ten-day gateway of completion. We came together and new light of the North awakened through the quantum field of omni-love that was held and anchored during the gathering. During the gateway of completion we were called to a special place within the North to do divine work in clearing, healing, and restoring the timeline of the great fall of the North, the dragon mountains, the water dragons and whales, the temple of the white flame, and the new ascension grid connecting to the northern star. Through this work we anchored the four pillar of light within the north. The new northern throne energies has been awakened, old timelines closed, and the northern tribes has united as one. Through the years we have been through various ascension portals, and now, finally, Gaia Sophia is ascending as designed. Now the new golden age of the earth is here, a new era for the planet and humanity. We want to thank each and every one of you who joined our Voice of the North Gathering and assisted in this important work for Gaia Sophia and humanity. Happy New Year to each of you, Camilla and Voice of the Northern Circle, from CamillaMara.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Pleiadian. Happy New Year. This is the year of miracles, 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. I am writing this on the eve of the New Year, 2022, Earth Calendar. And the shift from what was in so-called time to what is now is beyond phenomenal. We have all experienced many things in 2021. And for now, being thankful for all the blessings, all the lessons, all the small and large inner awakenings. In this I bless all of you as your profound awakening continues. In this, the Earth Experience 2022. This is the year of miracles. The new moon on Sunday, January 2nd, 2022 is in Capricorn at 2.33 p.m. AST. Venus is still retrograde until the end of January. And for now, making your New Year wishes holding close in your heart the true awakened you that is eternal is more than enough to bring about profound inner, therefore outer change. This new moon, sun conjunct moon, also makes one beautiful aspect a trine to Uranus. This is simple and yet profound change in the most positive, beautiful, and helpful way for you. Welcome to the new you of Earth 2022. Beginning this Earth calendar year 2022, we are blessed despite how things may look, and the changes ahead are of the new earth experiences revealing themselves more and more, as the poles shift, shift in the magnetic frequencies, shift all around us, know that in the moment, through your heart, you are prepared to ascend, to evolve, to be the one you already are, you are a divine being, and through your heart awareness, you access that, and through your awareness of that, as it increases in your awareness, you manifest this more and more, as all that you already are now. So in this great excitement, love, miracles, and blessings, with the divine counsel of overseers, the queen of light, Sonat Kumara, and Azora from the Pleiades, we bless you evermore, now, from the new divinehumanity.com. And from divine sister of the light, Mary Long, be open to receive the divine energies coming into us. It will tickle our senses, expand our consciousness, and open up the divine knowing we were all born with. There is so much more out there to explore. We only see a fraction of it, because our minds have been suppressed from accessing this wisdom. Nothing is blocking it but our minds, by questioning everything. Just allow it all to flow through you. It is a natural process that our spirit is starving for. Dive deep into self. Get to know who you truly are. Great changes are coming. You can feel it within your being. The resurrection of Christ is coming through us all. It is called Christ Consciousness. 
and many ascended masters found this truth while incarnating here on earth. We are all being given the opportunity to make the choice of diving deeper into love or to continue playing the divide and conquer game. Many of us who have incarnated here during this time are here to lift the veils of this illusion and bring everything to light. This has been quite apparent as we watch humanity rising in many countries whom are no longer resonating with the way things are being done in this world. In the last two years the truth is quite apparent and many may not be seeing this as they continue to hang on every word their government officials speak out only with words that make no sense anymore. The outer world being presented to you in this moment is like a circus of lies. You can see quite plainly that their words are doing nothing but running humanity's minds in a circle. That is what they want, to keep you confused and unaware. We do not need leaders, loves. We need to lead ourselves into a space where governments do not exist. Leaders lead thy way, they do not follow, and we are all born leaders. This is all coming up outside of us because this is what we wanted to show the world just how corrupt the systems are. The time is always in this moment to begin manifesting the earthly reality we truly want, a planet of peace and prosperity for all, where all are equal and there is no division between us. A new cycle has begun and it is up to each one of you to make the choice of which path to continue on. No one can make that choice for us. It is something we must all do on our own. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Jeff Cloud. The artistry and magic that we are capable of creating and manifesting is truly unlimited. The secret to manifesting one's desires is first realizing that we are creating our reality with our thoughts, words, imagination, intention, and emotional frequency that we put behind it whether we are aware of it or not. Until one comes to this realization, they may falsely believe that things in the external are just randomly happening to them, which can result in one feeling powerless. Most people are allowing their emotions to dictate what shows up in their life. This is completely backwards, as they are simply reacting to external stimuli instead of understanding that they are creating it all. If you are not consciously and intentionally envisioning your desired reality with excitement and enthusiasm first thing every morning, this is an invitation to begin doing that every single day. It is one of the most life-changing acts that I have ever found on my spiritual journey. As soon as one becomes aware of this, their entire reality shifts for the better because they will understand that there are no limitations as to what one can create and manifest when they understand this principle from portal to awakening.com and from divine sister of the light ramona lapin can you feel the happening happening we've just had a huge c class almost m class solar flare after we had an m class flare earlier this morning around 7 a.m utc the energies are ramping up and the solar flares are just one of the measurables after some very dense and intense energies over the past few days we are now feeling the remaining distortions, veils, and illusions lift in a very powerful way. For some of us, our crystal avatar self is starting to come online. A whole new level of embodiment and integration is available now, as all keeps building up to a big happening, our full and final liberation. We have massive crystalline new ascension earth grid, human heart grid, and earth's crystal core activations unfolding as all is in alignment. The interdimensional stargate system and portals are open and all is in place, and so are our galactic brothers and sisters, guardians and many, many beings of light in alignment with the law of one, assisting us in our ascension, as the final purge comes to its conclusion, and we are ready to take full flight. Avatar and Crystalline Star Body Activations since Tuesday, the energies have been steadily building, and there are many layers of planetary architecture shifts unfolding, of which I am sharing in some point of format. Overall, the overarching theme is that the massive and final purge of artificial and negative alien machinery, entities, and negative alien groups. There is a massive removal and purification of hybrid coding within our DNA, as well as the reptilian bloodlines unfolding. It's all interconnected. Simultaneously, we are receiving very powerful crystal avatar and DNA activations. Our 12-dimensional embodiment and multidimensional self is merging 
and integrating with the physical vessel of the forerunner avatars now ready to lead humanity into a new dawn, ready for liftoff. Mother's blue and aqua rays, Mother Arc, interdimensional, iridescent rainbow plasma waves, platinum white and ultraviolet light rays are powerfully clearing the remaining reversals, purging all remaining distortions, inversions, lower coatings, AI signals and materials, parasites, toxins, remaining illusions and veils within and without. As this happens, it's all coming up and out to be released. It's all hands, boots, and sacred crystal hearts on deck. A special thank you to all grid keepers, gate workers, lighthouses, and rainbow bridges that are assisting this massive cleanup operation and stargate alignments, along with the plenty of intergalactic, angelic, and guardian support. Massive collective awakening and paradigm shift. As we merge with our multidimensional galactic selves, we now start to experience benevolent ET contact. It's all interconnected. They are our higher identities, all merging as one now. All part of the galactivations and avatar activations as we merge with the consciousness of our future self and the new time-space coordinate for the collective consciousness of organic ascension earth, which is also part of a cosmic collective consciousness quantum reset of the one consciousness. Call all of yourself back to you from a place of total sovereignty. Reclaim all of you, all of your power gifts, abilities, and memories now. Know you have the power. Be still. Connect with your spirit, mind, body, and soul, and ask your higher levels to merge with you now. All of your parts, aspects, and pieces fully purified, merged, and healed. Always accessible and available now in no time. Our ascended self that already exists just in another frequency bandwidth. Dimensional realities are frequency bands. It's all accessible via the consciousness we hold. This is what is available now and accessible via the frequency of the beliefs and overall blueprint and templates we hold. It is so, it is done, so it is. All from within, so stop looking for proof out there at the false artificial matrix. Who looks outside dreams, who looks within awakens. These powerful crystal, avatar, embodiment activations are also interconnected with the 9 through 12D stargates of Andromeda, Vega, Lyra, Aramatena, which are currently completing a timeline repair and realignment. I'm also seeing the following activations currently unfolding. Trinity activation, Tri-Wave Zero Point Field, Unity Consciousness Grid activations, Anchoring the new tri-wave unity grid current and helping clear remaining reversals and distorted polarity consciousness currents. Trinity unified as one. White flame, threefold founder flame of purification and ascension activation. Blasting the grids and powerfully purifying and activating ours and the planetary body. Huge crystalline activation throughout the grids and our cellular structure and bodies. Ultraviolet light dissolving and overriding red wave spectrum and red cube technologies. As the multidimensional floodgates and stargates are now wide open and all timelines merge into one organic ascension reality experience, you may also experience more glitches in the matrix, Mandela effects, deja vus, time anomalies, feeling like this reality is really off and you're aware of you waking in a false hologram. Keep seeing through the veils as illusions continue to dissolve. Keep going with the flow, take it easy, and be ready for anything. The ride is getting wild. Merge with your I am presence and keep calling all of yourself back to you. We had the power all along. We have just forgotten and kept giving it away. Time to remember again and reclaim and reassemble all of you as you keep letting go of all that isn't your true authentic self. All you ever wanted, hoped, and wished for at the other side of fear. And remember, anger, resentments, and frustrations are all fear dressed up as something else. Trust and believe in you. Trust and believe in God and the divine plan. It's all the same. Full liberation is here now. Thank you for being such a multidimensional quantum God, Goddess. For keeping on going and persevering. As we fully rise and lift off, all shifts. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Elise. Gaia Daily, December 31st through January 3rd. More to the story. 
It's a powerful turning of the year, with three major squares formed in the sky, all on one side of the zodiac. Venus retrograde, Pluto, and Mercury sit two degrees apart in Capricorn. It's time to release and transform all of the structures of our lives that no longer support our full expression. There's tension everywhere with the three squares, one each in cardinal, mutable, and fixed signs. The sun is in square to Chiron and Aries, activating the fight for a higher human expression, evolution, and rebirth, and to come out of the wounds of the past. Jupiter is hanging out at zero degree Pisces, making a T-square with the nodes of the moon. Jupiter is excited to dream into new territory, but sits at a very confusing place, seemingly stuck outside of time. We will feel the influence of the square of Jupiter and the nodes through the first half of January, bringing a feeling of not knowing if we are coming or going, and questioning every level of reality. The nodes of the moon switch signs into Taurus and Scorpio on January 19th. This is the same day that the influence of the Saturn square Uranus fixed square completes its year-long journey. We sit poised for great change and yet seem to be teetering on the edge. Venus retrograde and Mercury preparing to turn retrograde in Capricorn on January 15th makes this a strange, shifting time. This makes it the perfect opportunity to take a leap energetically in your heart and soul. It's time to start right now to live in the energy of the life that you know is possible. There is so much more to the story. From AdrianElise.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Eric M. Roth from Shamanic Astrology Mystery School and In Spiral Nexus. Moon-Mars Conjunction with Antares a day after a Mercury-Pluto conjunction on December 31st, our only natural satellite, the Moon, moves into conjunction with Mars in the early morning sky. It takes place at 12 degrees 58 minutes of Sagittarius, only 3 degrees from the heart of the Scorpion. The star Antares, well within the 6 degree orb that is associated with conjunctions with stars, Antares will be shining at a plus 1.0 magnitude and Mars a bit less bright in a magnitude of plus 1.5, but both will have a similar coloration, so this will help us know which is which for those early risers to be able to see the sky. This is ending on the Gregorian calendar that began to be used in the late 16th century, as with this powerful conjunction. Every Moon-Mars conjunction is an action station point, meaning it has a strong current of movement astrologically. This one is deep and full of fiery intention and perhaps a wake-up call in the fathoms of truth for the masculine's wide variety of roles. Antares is a star that connects us to the scorpion's own role as guardian of the golden gate, symbolized in the sky by the galactic center of the Milky Way. While Antares is known to ancient Greeks as a rival of Mars due to its color and magnitude, it is much more than that, including being one of those four starry watchers and royal stars for thousands of years. Some Native American cultures looked at the heart of the scorpion, Antares, as a resting place for souls on their afterworld journey, and in Mesopotamia it was seen as part of the garden of the tree of light. All of these are activated by Mars and the moon's short transit through the scorpion constellation and past Mars. Also, Mars has only recently risen as part of phase four of its 26 month long synodic cycle to be seen in the morning sky and so it with a sense of vulnerability and beginnings of maturity that we find mars symbolizing the masculine principle in shamanic astrology seeking new meaning through intuitive action and exploration perhaps in this way new trails can be blazed while owning up to the toxicity of the masculine that is still around in cultures worldwide where courage can be found in order to step into the unknown. The journey awaits. And from 13 Moon Peace Time, today our galactic signature is Keen 122, White Overtone Wind, Day 2 of 20 Mystic Column Day Reflections. I would like to share an excerpt from The Mayan Factor by Jose Arduez on mindfulness in the central column. Control of the mind is paramount, for it is from the mind that the erroneous projections concerning our actual nature continuously stream. The clue to the process of mindfulness lies in the mystic column representing the greater mind. It is empty, 
an open channel completely unencumbered, as long as the individual mind represented by two columns on either side of the mystic central column remains open, empty and free, accessing the greater mind, awareness is maintained and we act with natural spontaneity, entering a field in which we are ownerless. Like children endowed with the wisdom of the universe, we channel and receive our solar galactic inheritance. It is from this open, empty condition of mind that the new technology is sprung. From 13moonpeacetime.com Today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 122, White Overtone Wind. Overtone is the name from the number 5 and its keywords are Empower, Radiance, and Command. The fifth day of a wave spell revs up the engines. Now we're in the fast lane. We are currently in the white mirror wave spell, and so today is influenced by the truth and accompanied by a powerful number. White wind represents communication, spirit, and breath. There are 20 glyphs in the Zolkin and 13 numbers or tones. So every 20 days we experience a white wind day, which is an excellent reminder to communicate. A healthy habit to have? This means it's a great day for meetings, consultations, public speaking, singing, let's not forget breathing. Wind of course represents the air element and breathing exercises connect us with this element and with spirit. As it is an overtone day, all the components of the day are amplified. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Overtone Wind, 5 Eek, Keen 122, 31st of December 2021, New Year's Eve, Radiant Spirit, 31 12 2021 equal 435 equal 48 equal 12 equal 3. Day codes 31 Genius, Think Outside the Box, 4 Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, 12 Acquiring Strength, Wisdom, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Month Year Codes, 12 Acquiring Strength, Wisdom, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Communication, 5 Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, 8 Infinite Abundant Source Flow, Keen 122 equal 5, change, transformation, freedom, divine, synchronic time. Exactly 27 months ago, 9 times 3 galactic spins. Keen 122 occurred on the 1111 portal, date of 11 of November 2019. And after a full Zolkin spin 18 months ago, we had another 1111 coding with Keen 122. Nine months ago we had a 6-9 heavenly code, and today we have a 3 holy divine coding, 3-6-9, and many 11-11 doorways heralded by Keen 122. Today we travel through the wormholes, open through these past portals, and arrive at a heavenly divine place. We have arrived at the holy golden gates of heaven. We have arrived to be birthed into a whole new place in the new time. How divinely perfecto on this New Year's Eve gateway. It is time to choose the divine path for our next chapter on earth. Today's code is another divinely orchestrated blessing from spirit. This beautiful heavenly code is being brought through the power of spirit with waves of unconditional love. We are riding on the winds of change ready for a fresh new start in this new master builder year of 2022. The overtone spiritual tone of creation will command that we become more empowered and radiant beings, guided by the power of spirit and the truth of our pure hearts. In God, Goddess, we trust. Day 5 in the white mare wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today is a powerfully spiritual day of tuning in and receiving the full radiance and empowerment of spirit, which is magnified through the white mirror. We are now in the central core of the Zolkin, which represents the plasmatic radial, the origin of spirit, the zero point. Tone of creation, overtone, tone five in the spiritual realm, action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. Number five represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and then radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul essence through a pure connection to source. This is the true source of unlimited power. 
This overtone power today will be pushing people to command back their power in the name of truth. Overtone plus white wind plus white dog is a triple dose of source spirit codes today, magnified, revealed, empowered, and radiated. Planetary service. Visualize the overtone wind working synergistically with today's occult superpower, the solar storm, to bring forth the winds of change through the power of love, commanding back Gaia's body as the home for love, empowering all her children to radiate that love through their precious hearts, creating infinite toroidal fields throughout the galaxy of creation. The white mirror is magnifying the storm's action so all shadows will be revealed today. The shadow agenda and shadow players will be exposed. This crazy matrix chess game is fully collapsing before our eyes. Hip hip hooray! The solar storm is enabling the energies of spirit to be pulsed out in waves of unconditional love through focused intent. The solar tone as the superpower today may ignite more CMEs, coronal mass ejections, or actual solar flares in response to the release of these codes from our sun and central sun. Blue Storm will reveal what needs to be overturned in order for us to realize our desire to be fully empowered as divine sovereign beings. Kowak brings forth the transformative energies that bring the change that liberates us, allowing the flow of pure energy to catalyze the transformation that is needed for our evolutionary leap. Being aligned and unified with spirit, imagine yourself and Gaia being infused and purified with white light permeating your being, clearing your divine heart with the frequency of white wind and blue storm. Lots of blessed changes in the air. So blessed are we, precious hearts, a powerful day for basking in pure devotion to spirit as you radiate the power of unconditional love through your being. Open the gate and walk through the doorway to your heart leading you back home to source. Today's question is how can I empower myself and others through communicating and radiating the power of divine spirit through my pure heart? Divine gratitude for the divine miracle and blessing we have been granted. Amen. Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Sabaoth. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. This is a sacred salutation which is used by all the hierarchy and sons and daughters of light to greet the Father before his throne. Enjoy on this holy divine day. In la quetch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 122, White Overtone Wind. The mantra, the code for today is, I am power in order to communicate, commanding breath, I seal the input of spirit with the overtone tone of radiance. I am guided by the power of heart. And on this powerful day of transformations, manifestations, and activations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges on Patreon and donations that we're able to continue this work. If you'd like to help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world through this new year and beyond, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Carol Arnett, for your gifts you sent to us. The Condor, my sacred queen, and I love these beautiful gifts you sent, and thank you for the beautiful books you wrote, The Greatest Love Story in the Arms of Love. From Carol Arnett and also thank you very much for the donation my queen and I appreciate you and your support very much 5353 coming in I'd also like to thank divine sister of the light Arifa Gill for another donation thank you very much sister and I'd like to also thank divine brother of the light Milo Shradik for another donation thank you very much divine brother and I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Adrian Jackson, for your donation. Thank you very much. Appreciate you and your support. 
We appreciate all of you for your continued support and for supporting our work and mission through this powerful year of 2021. And we look forward to continue serving all of you into the coming most blessed year of 2022. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal link at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase your beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from our divine brother of the light, Li Parore. Triple Sun System coming together, Earth slowing down, Eye of Ra, Eye of Horus, Blue Spectrum Sun, Red Spectrum Sun, Tidal Locked, Moon Rolling, Three Sun Magnetospheres, Earth's Bow Shock powering up, Four Winds of Earth, Inertial Planes, Schumann Frequency Sphere, Jupiter Wings Shift, Black Star, Venus Cycle, Whale's Tail, Ancient Dragon's Grid Ignites, Egyptian Hieroglyphs Intel, Sister System Objects in Sky, Three Suns Multiple Planets, Plasma Harmonic Exchange, Induction Heating, Tectonic Plates, Magnetic Breaking, Three Suns Convergence, Reset Cleansing Nova Event, Land Displacement Zones, Soul Frequency Matters, First Creation Superfluid, Plasma Beings, H plus Wall, Interplanetary Dynamics, Every Atom a Magnet, Source Hertz Oscillation, Plasma Open Halo Wave, Omnipresence Cross of God, Living Body Electron Magnet, Inertial Plane Heart EM Generator, Ouroboros Double Helix Field, Earth Resonant Frequency, Stacking Magnetic Charge, Shielding System Auric Field, Heart Hand Magnet Force, Living Water Vortex Wave Tech, Electrical Programmable Matter, Atomic Consciousness Embedded, Spheres Destiny Spheres, Solar Crown Saturn Base 12, Heart Thalamus, Pineal Gland, Crystal Body Merkaba, Interstellar Multiverse, Straight Hearts DNA Flame, Illuminated brain sync, creating stem cells, time to play, evolve, love frequency, expansion, footnote, Antarctica base command, space time, jump point, power squeeze, play, exit, hidden hand, NWO agenda, mass psychosis, hypnosis obey, population decoupled, fragmented, managed psychology, psyop, global totalitarianism, Districts, shedding plasma membranes, transhuman mRNA, interface, year of the tiger, space X age, digital currency law, metaverse, Zionist 555 code, 923 construct, machine soul recycling, harvesting, black knight satellite, digital sentience. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed New Year's and Happy New Earth of the year 2022, first year of full embodiment of heaven on earth. Our time has come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, the internal mirror the external, and the external mirror the internal. As above, so below, as within, so without. Everything in existence is a fractal, is a hologram, a simulated reality, where the one is the many and the many is the one. Emptiness is form and form is emptiness. All things are intrinsically linked in this paradoxical universe. We are transcending all and returning to source, fully awake, fully aware, fully conscious. This is a return to innocence, a return to purity, a return to power, manifesting the pure, clear light of bliss within this sacred space forevermore. Have a most blessed and powerful year of 222. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, 
and be sure to make this the best year ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.